Good morning, everybody. I thought I'd make a quick video and catch everyone up on what's been going on. Uh, we've had some questions, comments, concerns, but uh, we did a little tire shred on Highway 50 yesterday afternoon, and it got me thinking, and I wanted to point out a few things to you, so um, yeah, I thought I'd make a little quick video, let you know, first of all, we are okay. Uh, all the equipment's okay, got a little bit of repair to do, but other than that, hey, we went and had breakfast with the good folks at Cracker Barrel this morning and uh, decided to do that to start today. Maybe a big breakfast because it might be a long day today. So I'm going to start with one of the first complications uh, in our tire shred story. In order to get the tire from underneath the van, you zoom back out, the tire is mounted, of course, under the van. And to take the tire and lower it down, you have a long-handled crank that you insert the crank in this hole and it reaches back up in there to a lug that you then rotate the lug to lower the tire. Well, the first complication is there's a blocking plate inside this hole. I'm not sure I can get down there where you can see. Yeah, there it is right there. There's the blocking plate. Sorry, I'm doing this kind of handheld and in a hurry. And um, Wow, how do you get that out? Well, there was a little plastic topped thumb screw looking device right here for the bolt that's on that anti theft bracket. Well, as you could see, first thing happened was the little plastic piece stripped out. The next thing happened was the head of the bolt, um, the bolt broke. The bolt had been. Um, I don't know, bent, rusted. I'm going to lift this plate out so you can see. So the first complication was getting this stinking plate out of the way so we could even get the spare tire down. The next complication came when we popped the uh, hubcap off. Lo and behold, I was missing one lug. And in the process, one lug nut, sorry. And in the process of removing the lug nuts, you'll notice there's a broken one there. I suspect the issue here is when the tires were rotated, that lug nut didn't get put on. And the reason that one came didn't come off, rather it broke, is it was probably cross-threaded and driven on with an impact. And uh, I'll give you a look at the tire, the trailer made a little room, threw it in there, and so today we'll be going after a tire and possibly a new wheel since I don't think they'll be able to press a lug in <clears throat> into that existing wheel. And I can't tell if I hit something that may have started the tear or not. These tires have uh, definitely gotten, gotten their money's worth out of them. Well, as I said, we are safe. The pups, they uh, just finished eating the leftovers as breakfast from the Cracker Barrel. And I guess we're fixing to, uh, well, I'm going to be calling around to some tire stores. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to be calling around to some tire stores and seeing what we can come up with so far as getting a new tire and finding somebody that can either press a lug in or I guess we'll just have to buy a wheel and, and replace it. Bottom line here is there's a there's a couple of things that could have been done to make this maybe not quite so uh, intense a situation was we couldn't have avoided the tire shred. That's, you know, things like that are going to happen on the road. That's why you have to have an emergency fund so that you can replace those tires. They are not cheap. The mud traction, uh, heavy duty tires are not cheap. You have to have a way of replacing that stuff or you're going to be sitting on the side of the road somewhere but more importantly when I had those tires rotated I think I should have taken the time when I got back somewhere I could within hours of having the work done I should have taken the time to pop the hubcap off made sure all the lugs were on there I know that seems like wow you're really having to go an extra mile but let's face it I would have had all the lug nuts 
on had I done that because had I found one missing, I would have gone immediately back to where they rotated the tires and said, hey guys, fix me up. Um, the other thing is that little anti-theft bracket has probably not been removed. Well, I know it hasn't because I rolled up under the van and checked the air pressure in the spare uh, a couple of times over the last, well, since I've had the van. But I've never really actually lowered that tire down. Um, so, uh, things like that that give you access to your equipment, regardless of whatever it is, periodically perhaps you should loosen it up and then uh, tighten it back up just to be sure you can get it loose when you need to without having to cause more damage. So anyway, that's been our little episode. We're going to get the tire fixed. We're going to get uh, everything done, including the laundry and uh, a little bit of shopping and be back on the road hopefully this evening. If not, it'll be sometime tomorrow. Thanks for coming along. And again, you guys get out, be safe, and go adventure.